welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support, your comments, likes, shares. Uh, that helps my channel greatly. I greatly appreciate your support, your donations. Thank you. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe below. I am delivering messages of truth and light and not all truth is something we want to hear, but as we bring it to the light, we help people to align, to awaken, and then we help one another move into more of their soul missions. So yesterday on my video, I talked a little bit more about our soul missions. I also talked about the planet Saturn. If you all missed that, definitely be sure to check that out. So I just want to say that every day their AI is improving. They're working around the clock with their cryptocurrency, Bitcoin agendas, and do not be fooled by these growing numbers. Okay. Oh, you know, Bitcoin's up today. It's a good investment. Do not be fooled. Okay. I'm telling you right now, the people behind Bitcoin, the people behind cryptocurrency have come forward and said, if you knew the truth behind crypto, you would never go near it. Okay. I have gotten messages directly linked from cryptocurrency to human trafficking and harvesting energy. You have to understand this is just another version of a stock market that they are manipulating and running. Okay. And as good as it seems, look, I have thief coming through as good as it seems. Okay. Get your investments. Do not be fooled. Okay. I have been shown a form of cash going out globally, a physical form of cash going out globally. What is the difference between cash? Okay. And crypto cash is a reliable monetary value. Okay. It maintains its value within your country. Crypto does not maintain a value, okay? It fluctuates, it is the stock market. If we rely all of our money on something that is fluctuating, where does that put us? Okay, so just something to think about. Um, I'm just getting really strong messages about this, like don't be fooled, like don't be fooled, guys, okay? Um, there's something coming in with an addict around this. So it could be an addiction for many people, fast money, fast cash, blah, 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 blah. There could be like even groups that are kind of like rallying this up. Okay. I am getting that it is, a, it's, it's a, it's, it's a facade. Okay. Um, I am getting that it is not real. It is not rooted in something that is positive, but they want everybody to keep investing into it right now. Okay. I'm hearing it is connected directly to dark agendas. All right. And we have to start waking up to the truth of the money system. Okay. And who is running the money system? So let's see what else is coming. Yeah, it is the fool. <laughs> it's coming in right here. Okay. Do not be fooled by this. Let's not be fooled. Let's look at behind the card. Behind it, we have the vampire, okay? These are real life vampires. The vampires, a lot of them in Europe, okay? A lot of them connected to the diamond business, diamond industry, okay? This is, um, you know, old money. Look how they're coming in. Midas Miser. They're controlling the money right now, okay? Right now, we have to wake up to the truth of why certain people have money and certain people don't. And there are, I'm hearing codes. There's codes, genetic codes, that allows them to manipulate the monies and portals as well. I have gambler coming in around that. This is something they've been working on for a while. This did come up as well on the angel tier. Uh, we had a really in-depth conversation about the money portals that they had gone, got into the money portals. I was getting very strong ties to the pyramids. Okay. When we fi figure this out, they don't like it, but I have to tell you many of our soul missions, if you are an origin of Pleiadians, okay. Your soul mission here is not to freaking be like you know, butterflies and, and roses to, for people. Okay. You're, you're here as a mirror to shine a light 
on the truth of who people are and it makes people uncomfortable okay it makes people very uncomfortable when you stand in your power and you shine that light back in their faces that is something that they don't like to see okay the truth of who they are and that is a big part of the pleiadian mission here we are usually <laughs> um we usually trigger people um not intentionally but just by who we are and how we show up in the world we trigger people okay and that is just something to note not all soul missions are here to make people happy if you think about it in terms of this where we came from we're very well liked okay we have lots of friends where we come from okay it's when we get to earth that everything <laughs> gets a little dicey here okay it gets a little a little wild here okay and then we have a hard time usually finding our soul family in our tribe which is by design all right um so i'm here i'm here to keep you on mission with why you're here all right and as we continue to shine a light and move forward we will we will find ourselves amongst enemies okay and i'm getting a message direct from spirit today that that is okay and everything is okay and that we are protected, okay? Even if we find ourselves in a sea of enemies, all right? That is why we are here, okay? We are not here to make friends. We are here to shine the freaking light in the sea of our enemies, okay? So just something to remember and this is how it is going to be as we continue to move forward. I have the student coming through here. Humility and devotion to knowledge. Openness to lifelong learning, okay? So I feel like we're in uncharted territory for where we are right now on earth, okay? It is new territory, all right? We are shaking up systems that they thought would never get shaken up, okay? Um, truths are coming out that they thought were buried for good, all right? Um, we are a massive shakeup, so we have to be gentle with ourselves. Everybody is in a, a way a student right now. Everyone, even the enemy is a student, okay? We've never been here before. We have never been, we have never tread <laughs> in this territory before, but it doesn't mean that we're not prepared and it doesn't mean we don't have the keys. I just saw a key come right through. There's the freaking key coming right through with potential, okay? It says the littlest key can open the heaviest door. Something to remember, okay? Um, the other card that just came through here, self-care, okay? Um, tending to our own garden. Show up for yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Don't make yourself feel bad. Don't feel like, oh, I'm in too deep now. Uh-uh. Tend to your own garden. Tend to yourself. Fill yourself back up. Well, I was just guided to get my little bell here that I got from Sedona many years back um to clear energies whatever brings you solace whatever whatever you need to do to clear energies to remind yourself who you are to go back into center okay that's why all of this inner work that we've done over the last several years is so important because we have to now move into ourselves move back into ourselves know that we are protected know that we can trust ourselves that we can trust our intuition, we can trust our spirit guides. Um, courage, here we go, with a rose coming through. The rose is really important. I think there's some significance to this to, I wanna say it's a secret society. So that, that energy is gonna co co keep coming up, okay? With everything that just broke in the news, um, that's gonna keep coming up. Those groups are gonna keep coming up, keep coming to the light. Uh, it says when picking roses, don't fear the thorns, okay? Um, so we can't go into fear. We have to know we will always be trusted. Uh, we have radiance coming through here. Keep your head held high and follow the sun. That's all right, follow the sun. And then say prayers for the sun because you know, they, they're afraid of the sun. The vampires don't like the sun. So keep, keep shining a light and sending lovely, beautiful prayers to the sun to heal the sun. Okay, and if things become too burdensome, lighten your load, it says, okay? This is out of the Secret Garden uh, deck, if you guys are interested, by Rock Pool. So um, I will leave you guys there. I feel like those are some really important 
messages. I have exorcist as a final message. So maybe some of us need to do a lot of clearing. They are using these dark energies, entities, um, you know, that is part of their AI, part of their technology systems is trying to weaken us with dark energies. So it says um, freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses as well. So just kind of continuing to stay to the light. Uh, don't give up. And as I'm saying that, I got hero heroin. Don't give up, guys. Don't freaking give up. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. <laughs> stay to the light. All right. I wish you guys so much love and blessings. If you're interested in a reading, any type of soul coaching, I do have um, a, a, a session on there to align to your soul mission. I have um, a love reading for the stellar races, finding out what stellar race you are, your origin, your love life. I'll leave you guys there. You can go to my website at soulpath.me and I'll talk to you soon.